Hey guys, on um, this video I'm just going to show you some products and clothing that I'm loving for the month of May. So let's get into it. First thing is this blouse from Topshop. So the other day they had a sale on, you could get two of these blouses for $50 Canadian, which I thought was an amazing deal. It doesn't feel cheap at all. I got a size up um, just because I wanted a little bit slinkier. I'm wearing it pretty low, but you could button it up for work or for an interview. Um, I like the material. It's nice and flowy. And then, um, so I got the plain black one, also this leopard print one. If you want to see me wear that in the last video I uploaded, which I believe is going to be the feel ground shoe video, I should be wearing that in there. Um, yeah, but these are amazing. I believe there were two other colors, maybe a white and a green one so i will link them in the down bar um, and guys always shop through ebates or the drop app if you're ordering online or even in person it will save you money so just for reference um you know if you're new here i'm 5'9 normally i would say i'm a size medium i got these in a us size 8 but i definitely could go down um but this gives like that perfect slouchy look in my opinion so size 8 us Okay, so Topshop. Um, next up, I'm loving the little Brett trend. I know some people don't like it. So I got these little star Bretts from, where did I get these? Free People. I'm obsessed with stars. I always have been. I have three star tattoos, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, so I just thought they would look cute there. Obviously not with my hair like this, but these are cute. Um, also, like a long time ago, I got this vintage Chanel Brett from Japan. I never really wore it, but... I'm thinking I should start maybe when my hair is a little bit longer, but just to kind of like gather it back at the side. Um, yeah, so I like the bread trend. Um, okay, lip products. So my favorite lip balm at the moment is Walita. I got it on well.ca. It is a German brand. It is all natural, no nasty ingredients. It's like a cocoa butter lip balm. Really, really amazing. Makes your lips like kissably soft. So lip gloss, this is my favorite lip gloss probably ever my whole life. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I just randomly got it one day at Sephora, but it's Pat McGrath. This is the first product I've tried of hers. It's amazing. So it's Love Potion. That, that's the shade. It's like a perfect pale pinky nude. In my opinion, like for my coloring, it's like the perfect nude for my lips. It's silky, not sticky, smells nice, just provides a nice natural sheen. I try to wear dark colors and it just looks horrible on me. It ages me. So I opt for these glosses and I just think it works best for me. Um, for perfume, Barreto, oh my God, 11th hour is what I'm living and dying for at the moment. Guys, it's expensive, but I mean, if you have a significant other, it's unisex. You guys can share it. So it's basically like cutting the price in half. I told my boyfriend, like, honestly, the ugliest guy in the world could be wearing this. I'll probably follow them around just trying to catch a waft of it. It is so good. You freaking need this. You need this. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> okay, next up, I have two hair care products. The Way Hair Care, the Jen Atkins line. This is the finishing cream. So if you have any like baby hairs, flyaways, you can put this in after. Just run your hands over it. It will smooth it down. Or you could put it in before you blow your hair out and it'll make it nice and silky. Love, love, love this. Got it at Sephora. And then I got this Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. I got this just recently. I just got a little bit off my hair um just a little bit of a trim because i don't know if i want to go shorter or grow it long so just to make it look a little healthier and um yeah i don't know from the dry cold air in the winter my hair was just feeling a little bit kind of just crispy so he suggested this so you apply it to damp hair before you shampoo and conditioner and it just makes your hair silky soft like amazing this is my first thing I've tried of Olaplex, and I would agree it really is that good. You can get this at Sephora. I got it at my hair salon. Um, and then a brush. I've owned this, I think, like two or three times before. But I don't know. This one seems okay. In the past, the bristles kept falling out. This is a Tarte brush, and it's just like an airbrush buffing brush for your foundation. 
I love it. It's so like silky smooth. It just like you can put a tiny bit of foundation on and just buff it up. Sorry, buff it out like very, very nice and it blends into your ear, your neck nicely. Um, it's super soft. I love the density of the bristles. And this time around, the bristles haven't com come out at all. So maybe they improved it because I did see in the past in Sephora, a lot of people were complaining the bristles were coming out, but it seems to be really well made now. It is a little bit pricey, but I mean, it, in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, okay, I also have these... I'll probably do another video about this. Um, that brand Diff sent me these. They're the blue light blocking glasses. Sorry, it's gonna pick up. I have a light shining at me, but there, I can show you a little bit better. So I've been loving these to wear at night if I'm on my computer or my phone. Looks funny. I can never show glasses on camera because I always have the lights set up. My boyfriend said I look like a granny, but oh well. <laughs> Tweety Birds granny. Um, next up, I got a pair of sunglasses from Les Specs by Adam Selman. Don't really know who that is. These, again, it's hard to show you, but they kind of have like little side pieces. It's almost like built-in protectors for your crow's feet. Yeah, they just look like that. I don't know. Not with my hair like this, but I like them. And, okay, what else? I got this pair of biker shorts from Aerie. They had a sale on the other day. I ended up getting size large, but they were a little too big. I think they were out of medium. So I threw them in the dryer. They did shrink a little bit, but they're just like a nice kind of like, they look acid washed, but just really cute with like a long t-shirt. Um, I got this blazer from Aritzia a while back. It's Wilfred. I got it in a size 6. It's a double-breasted blazer. I think I showed this in one of my other videos. It's like a nice purpley color. Um, yeah, it just looks really nice. I'll try to put it on. Yeah, so it just looks like that. Sorry, I'm lazy. I don't really want to try everything on today. Just fits perfect. I like wearing these with the Wilfred pants that I'm going to show you in a second. Or not Wilfred pants, Wolford. Wolford. Yeah. But this is really nice because it covers your bum, you guys. It's very professional. Love that. The nice thing about this, it drapes very nice on your shoulders. It doesn't fall off. Um, feel ground shoes, comfiest shoes ever. I made a video about them, my last video. So if you're interested, it's a barefoot shoe, but it doesn't look like a barefoot shoe. If you, um, if you're interested, you guys, I have a link. I'll leave it in the down bar, but you can get them probably 30% off right now. So follow my link. I got these pants from Zara. I ordered size large thinking I wanted them fitting loose, but they're a little too big. I'm gonna exchange them for a size medium. They're only $39.90. They're like kind of like a silky cargo trouser. And I think these are black. Sometimes I can't tell black and navy apart. Yeah, they're black. Really nice. I got this at Urban Outfitters. It's just like a sheer little baby doll dress. I thought it would be cute to wear to a pool party, like over a bikini. When it gets closer to summer, I have lots of beach cover-ups. I'll make a video about that. Um, yeah, but really kind of cute. And then these are those Wolford tights, size medium. It's a black legging, but it's the closest thing to a dress pant in my opinion. I talked about them and I showed them in my five top black leggings video. So if you want to see them on, you can look there. Really nice. I got this at Uniglo the other day. It's a nice basic black tank by Alexander Wang. He did like a collab with them. And where does it say? It says somewhere on there. Yeah, just in the corner down here, it says Alexander Wang. And it was very affordable, just like a perfect black tank. You can go with everything. 
And then Riderwear sent me some clothing, which I'll show maybe in another video when I try it on. I'll link it though, it fits very nicely. Some leggings, bra top, and a cropped long sleeve shirt. I really like it. Yeah, so I think that's everything for the last like couple months that I've been really liking. Um, this necklace I have on, it's old, but it's from Love AJ. If I can still find it online, I'll link it because I think it looks like three necklaces, but it's all one piece. So it's like great for layering with blouses, I find. And yeah, I think that's it. But tell me if there are any products you guys are liking right now, leave it in the comments down below. I love finding new things, listening to your recommendations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.